Since the late 1920s, the Harlem Globetrotters have wowed audiences all over the world with their dazzling basketball skills. In that time, they have had only 11 female players, which makes our next guest the 12th. Yes. Joyce, Sweet J, Ekwaro Madu join the team this season. The rookie will be performing tomorrow night at the Saddle Dome. I see, to, I see performing, uh -huh. playing, <laughs> but I am so thrilled to meet you. Thank We've had you. a number of Globetrotters who are our first female. Um, oh, cool. I'm so privileged. <laughs> well, no, we're privileged, and I would say you guys are incredible ambassadors. Yes. I mean, it's such goodwill you guys bring. Uh -huh. Incredible personality. Yeah. What's it like to be a Harlem Globetrotter? Man, it's an amazing experience. I mean, the one thing, the one word that sticks out is inspiring. Mm -hmm. We inspire young youth. We inspire adults. I know a, a lot of adults come up to me and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I remember when I was a little kid and I was watching Curly Neal, Metal Lark Lemon, and just to be able to bring my kid to this experience is wonderful." Wonderful. And so, um, again, Ambassadors of Goodwill, we do a lot of community outreach. We have a program called ABCs of Anti-Bullying Prevention um, that we've been doing. And just a lot of things. We travel around the world. Um, and so not a lot of organizations can say that they've used the sport of basketball to help inspire people. Were you so. one of those kids? Were you one of those kids? One of those kids. When I was younger, I was like, I want to be a professional basketball player. Uh -huh. And so now I'm able to live out that dream and bring out my personality at the same time. Does that mean a lot to you, though? I mean, now as a, as a woman, because uh -huh. when, when we were kids, I right. couldn't really say that. Exactly. Does it mean a lot to, to you to be part of a professional organization as a woman? It, it means a ton, uh, because again, I'm the 12th woman. It's an 88 year long history behind yeah. us, you know. And so when I go out and I perform and a little boy comes up to me, even a little yeah. boy or a man will say, hey, that is awesome to see a woman on the team. That's so inspiring to me. And some got, some little boys are like, hey, you're my favorite player. And I'm like, did you see the dunkers? Did you see, you know? And they're like, yeah, you, I love what you did out there. And so again, the little, if the little boys are doing it, definitely the little girls are, have some, somebody to look up to. Which so. is incredible. Yeah. I love that, being the, the mother of a little girl. Yeah, I love that. Exactly. Okay, so what's your basketball background, and how did you end up auditioning, I guess, as it were, for well, the Well, that's a great question. I actually played college at Texas State University. I finished there in 2008, and then I played in the WNBA for a short time in 2008 and played overseas um, in Poland and Italy. So I've got an extensive background, and so now this is the next chapter in my life, and it's the best chapter so far. I mean, just, again, inspiring and being able to be exuberant and energetic mm -hmm. out there and entertain as well as playing basketball. Because that's part of it. We were talking about that, too. You have to have the personality. Exactly. It's not just about your skills on the court. You exactly. have to be the ambassador. Exactly. So we've got to be energetic and just bring smiles to people's faces mm -hmm. and families. And I got some basketball. Skills. Okay. Yeah. Show us something. All we're right. so excited to watch okay. you. Okay. So I'll show you a little trick. Okay. So I'm gonna, I want you to try a trick. Right, you can try a <laughs> trick. Okay. So I'm going to go start here. And I'm bring it around. Boom. And I'm going around here. Around the neck. Then I'll pass it. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> then I'll spin it my finger like this, and I'll hide and wait. <laughs> what do you guys do? You guys are all hanging out, you know, getting ready. Do you guys just play around all together? I mean, it's and just practice, kind of games, just like right? any other thing. You've got to practice at your craft to become a better uh, a ball handler. Yeah. So I didn't know how to spin a ball about three months ago. And every day in the hotel room, I'm just spinning, 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 spinning. Until now, I could just do it with ease. Right here, boom, right wow. on the fingertip. Incredible. Okay, so Tara, I want you to just uh -oh. take it around your back. Uh, okay. Give me an elbow pass, just right there. All right. Around your back. There you go. Elbow. Hey, that's I that think you got what it takes. You think so, huh? <laughs> by, the, by the way, we can't do it in here, but you're a three-point shooter. That is your thing. Yeah, right? and what's cool is we're innovators of basketball world, so we've got a four-point shot that's open throughout the entire game. So wow. 35 feet away from the basket. <laughs> 35 feet. So That's I want insane. everybody to come out in Calgary. We're playing Thursday again, March 6th, at the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome. You can get your tickets online. Tickets start at $23. They can get them at www.harmglobetarters.com. And we have links up on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Yes. Sweet Jay, so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Tara. Can I have a hug? What an oh, thank you. you are. Really right. amazing. <laughs> uh, I hope to see you again. Come oh, back anytime. You gotta come to the game.